trying to feel like I needed to do everything all at once on this like little one day a week practice at the beginning um, versus, you know, let me just kind of focus on one or two things, which really were working for me. And then I was spreading myself too thin in some other areas that weren't helping me. Um, so that was actually uh, if I could go back and do it again, I would do that differently as well. I think the it, the number one, like if I could boil it down to even just the one thing for a second is really like knowing who I am and, and if I could call it like a mission statement of what I'm about in my business. Um, and, and I think I knew what I was about, but I never made that the focus or um, – kind of use that to drive my business because I think that's really what has led to my success is really this is what I'm about. Uh, this is the kinds of outcomes that I want to see in my clients' lives or in the world or whatever it might be. Um, so that sounds, that would be like my number one tip. And then the rest sort of flows from that of maybe number two would be like finding my niche, which kind of tends to be a natural um uh, like, I don't know, the dominoes of knowing what your mission statement are kind of make it easier to know what your niche is. Um, and then also just knowing, like, what am I good at and what am I not good at? And just don't even bother with the stuff that I'm not good at as far when it comes to marketing. So it's like mm. if I'm not good at writing and I drag my feet every time, like maybe blogging isn't the place to start. And that's totally fine. And maybe I'll never do it. And that's fine, too. I say to people, you know, start with the things that you love. Like if you love Instagram or you love Facebook or you love writing or video, whatever it is you love. Like do that full tilt. And then if that doesn't work, you can always get into the stuff that you hate. But yeah. I'd rather see people start with, you know, hey, what do I just already enjoy doing? Like in my free time, mm -hmm. do, do you like Instagram? Do you like to write? What are those things that you just naturally like and do it way better and stronger than everyone else? And then you'll stand out to those people that also like that. Because so many people I talk to, um, they'll say, oh, I've never been on Instagram, but I know I need an Instagram. And I, I, I'm right. never on Facebook, so I, but I should have a Facebook page. And it's like, if you're not on there, you're going to attract a lot of people that like Instagram and like Facebook and you don't like those things. So why would you want to attract those people? And, you know, we all have those times that we second guess what's worked in the past. And I think that's good that in a new situation like San Jose to be a little more hyper vigilant of, OK, I may need to work harder than I had to. And maybe things are different and uh, that people will often hear, you know, someone like yourself or me that we're at a certain point and they think it was just easy. You were confident the whole time and you just went after it and it happened. And the reality is, you know, of all the consultants I know, all of the practices I've worked with, that there's so much junk in our own brains that we bring to our business that uh, it's going to be rocky. And it's like, just expect that. That's what business is. And But you have yeah. to work through it. And then you have to figure out, well, where's that coming from? Do I need to work on that with my own therapist or go through something else and uh, and then be able to be stronger on the other side of those challenges. But, you know, I can speak firsthand. I still have those things that come up with like, you know, imposter syndrome or who am I to be doing this? And it doesn't go away. You just got, got to become a better version of yourself. Absolutely. And I think I, I agree. I don't think it'll ever go away. And I've kind of assumed now that if I'm not feeling a little bit of that imposter syndrome, that I might have just gotten a little bit complacent. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, you're not, not pushing yourself anything, enough. Right. Th 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 there's nothing wrong with that. But if, if I'm wanting to push towards something new and I'm not feeling imposter syndrome, then I'm probably not really pushing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's been a helpful.